Today I'll be sharing some art tips that can help you draw more efficiently and faster. You all know that chicken scratching looks bad, right? Well, how you want to do line art or clean sketches, especially if you have an incredibly shaky hand like mine. Use this. In Crit Art, it's called the Bezier Curve. But in other programs like Photoshop or Procreate, it's probably called Stabilization something. Number two, if you want to change the vibe of your drawing, one of the best tools you could use is the color adjustment curve. To find this in Creator, go to Filter, Adjust, and then find the color adjustment curve. You can create multiple points and change them whichever way you want. Next, when creating a palette, the colors are way more aesthetically pleasing when having a color in common. But how do you do that? Choose that common color and draw a wide rectangle. Then, on a new layer, place your original palette on that rectangle and turn down the opacity. This is the before and after. Hey, it's Editor in Sierra. I just wanted to let you know that I have a Ko-Fi where I will share high resolution PNG files of my art, full critter brush packs, as well as a neatly organized reference board with over a thousand pins and some more to come. If you want to join, link is in the description and pins comment. Number four, the overview tab. I use this all the time because sometimes you can get lost in the details while drawing. So keeping this open really helps so that you can focus on the bigger picture. When rendering parts like the neck, it's important to pay attention to the reference. Otherwise, you'll be placing colours in random places and not knowing where to leave hard or soft edges. So this is already obvious, but if you make your dimensions small, your drawing will be grainy. So I would preferably use 2000 plus pixels for it than height. And don't worry about Instagram, as it will automatically crop your drawing into a square. And there's this button that lets you maintain the original size, if it's not too big. According to YouTube, the majority of people click off my video once my end screen appears. So if you're still here, leave a like and comment your favourite flavour of ice cream to let me know that you've made it till the end. Watch this video next if you want to see me roast my aunt and I'll see you there. Bye bye!